Hey guys, Colson here, welcome back to Let's Play Link Awakening DX. So, I'm back at this room where we uh, have the hook shot across, and I've got the key. I can open that locked chest wall thing, whatever whatever you want to call it. I, I have no idea really, but anyway, this will unlock the... Ah yes, I remember this. You may be wondering, I can't open this chest. Well, pick up a rock and throw it at it, just like all the doors, and that will unlock the chest, and you get the Nightmare's Key. Uh, now I'm just trying to remember what will be quickest way about this. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to get that chest down there. Can I get that chest down there first? So I hit the crystal switch. I was going to mambo's mambo my way back to the beginning, but nah, screw that. We'll uh, we'll hit the switch and get back to go get this chest down here that we missed, and then we'll be all set and ready to go take on the. Nightmare of this gate, uh, nightmare of this dungeon, which is actually pretty easy. It's a pretty simple nightmare, actually, for once. Nah, it's gonna miss. This will hit though. Oh, we didn't get three. Oh, I miss mistimed that. Uh, plant you. Plant you again. Boom. Now I hit that s that crystal switch. So I should be able to do a little bit more in this room than I was able to do last time. Oh yes, and I can get through because you walk up here, drop off onto the the uh, things. Whoa, that was a close jump. That was. And we go up here, and it'll be repeat. Oh, I found some secret medicine. I've already got some secret medicine. Oh well, oh well. Okay, so now we're going to head. Now we're going to head to the nightmare the way we did before. Get out of my way. Get out of my way, sucker. Yeah, I've been watching too much Mr. Mr. T stuff recently. Let's get some more bombs. We will need bombs for the boss, so make sure you've got plenty of bombs in your storage space cabinet thing. Let's get the boomerang going. Whoa, oh, oh, we got him on the. Uh, got him on the recoil. There, 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 there. Bubbles are a really good way of. God damn it, re. Uh, re Getting your health actually, because obviously every time you hit them, they drop a fairy, and the boomerang normally brings it back to you as well. So it's very handy for getting. Uh, do I go down? I go down. Very handy for getting. There we go. I got them all. <laughs> as much as I got. Oh no! I did not know that happened. Oh, that's just bullshit. That's just bullshit, guys. <sighs> Not know that happened. Not know that happened at all. Oh well, I guess we've got to go back through this area again. Get some more hearts. <sighs> failure, failure, failure. This LP is fail. I mean, even in my Super Mario Sunshine LP, I'm doing LP versus whatever. I'm doing pretty well because. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm like ahead of Josh Jefferson and attacking two cans. I mean, I'm way behind a lot of other people because they are badass at this game. Some of these people that are playing is just insane. I mean, I've never done it, so I guess they've got that on me. With him out of the way, we can push his block out of the way, go up. And uh, yes, now if you don't have the boo round, you can kill these guys by lighting those two. Um, I like those two torches, but uh, we're okay on hearts. We don't, this boss is really easy. You may be wondering where he is. There he is, in the floor. This is facade. Hey dummy, need a hint? My weak point is... Whoops, there I go, talking too much again. Yeah, his weak point is his face, so literally just keep planting bombs on the floor when he pops up, and uh, you'll register a hit. I think you need to plant him right in the middle of his face, though. You can also, you've also got to dodge all this crap that he's throwing at you, but it's, it's pretty easy, really. To, you can just take quite a bit of damage, that's all. Well, and then eventually he'll start just opening floor, holes in the floor, but I don't think he can ever open one below his face, so if you always stand near him... Okay, listen, if the windfish rates up, everything on this island will be gone forever, and I do mean everything. Basically trying to scare us into thinking like we'll die as well, but how can we die? We link. We, can, we know what we're doing. Another hot container. Okay. 
And so with that, a heart container, we get the next wind instrument, the Coral Triangle. Oh yeah, triangles are badass. You can play a tune on those triangles. Mountain, something calls from the mountains. So that's where the next dungeon is. If we go down, get a little chat from the owl here. Hoot, the many monsters of this island fear that the windfish is about to awaken. The monster's power is real. They may conquer the island and destroy their foes. That day may come soon. Now go to the mountain tower. Fly like a bird. Hoot, hoot. So yeah, there's your little hint for the next dungeon where to get to it. You need to fly like a bird or an eagle or something. So we need to walk all the way over to um, Mere Village. And that was where we get what will help us get the key for the next dungeon. I fail at commentary. I really do fail at this commentary. It's commentary lark. It's such a lark, this commentary lark. I'm working on saving a bit of money for a uh, HDBVR, so that would be quite nice if I was able to do some prettier games. I've also invested in I've also got quite a few games to play. What have I bought? I've got uh, Pikmin 2 to play. I've got uh, Enchanted Arms, which I've played is alright. I've got Star Fox Adventures, which I've always wanted to play, and I finally got a copy. And I've got Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 on the way. And I've got all this other stuff to be playing, so... Don't go in the shop. You will die if you go in the shop. Right, okay, so here... Remember this windmill with with a bird on it? It always just looked like a weird robot to me. If you push it open, you can go inside. And here we will find the dead remains of a bird. Well, let's liven this bird up, shall we? Oh yeah. Get some life into your bird. As you can see, some sort of light. I can't look, what's happening? This brings the rooster back to life, the rooster of May Village. He seems very friendly. He will now follow you, and this is what you can do. You can pick him up with your brace bracelet and fly. So now you can hover over really large gaps. Not off screen though, unfortunately. You have to always remain on screen. Uh, which can be a bit of a pain, but um, yeah, that's it. that's it. That's all you need now to get the key for the next dungeon. So. I'm gonna go up there now. I'm gonna warp to the tall, tall mountains, which is the second warp hole. So let's drop in. Get a let's get a warp going. And uh, if we head this way, we can loop back up into the mountains. Ah, Angler's Tunnel. Hello. Get you out of the way. Yeah, we're probably gonna end this video up as we get to the top of the mountains, but uh, you know, I don't want to waste. I don't want to just end the video after five minutes. So we'll. Uh, we'll We'll pad it out a bit as we may as well carry on with our quest. Our quest to wake the wind fish. Anyway, if we go up here, the owl talks will see no other right track. Hoot hoot, your path is not easy, but you are almost there. Go east, the wind fish is getting restless. <laughs> yeah, we want to head through this tunnel here. Which we've been in before. I think we've been in before. Have we been in before? I think we've been in before, but uh, where's my rock? Where's my rock's feather? Oh, I fell down. Link fell down. Push these rocks out of the way. Just describing what I'm doing now, clearly, because this is my fifth video I'm recording today. I'm a bit restless now. There's a piece of hat over there, but we can't get to it. But we can charge through. Actually, screw that. We'll get this chest. If you go up, you can hook shot across the chest. That gets us 50 rupees. Very nice, very nice. And then that skull over there, so we can climb it. So we can hook shot back. Get some Pegasus boots on, and then we can charge through these green blocks like we mean it. But yeah, we, we can't get that piece of hat. Yeah, that piece of hat comes later on. But if we go through this way. Is it in here? I think uh, I don't think it's that way. I think that was the way to go up to the guy with the hibiscus. We're gonna fall out that waterfall soon, but if we keep going right, past where we would normally go into Angler's Cavern, we get to this bit here. Now the rooster can follow over water, obviously, as it floats. So if you keep going right, you'll eventually get to a way into Turtle Rock, I believe. But we want to go up these stairs, I think. 
Do we want to go up these stairs? Let's go up these stairs anyway. Let's see what's over this way. As you can see, we're now above that, and we found a little hole. A little hole here. Yes, this is the way. Let's uh, equip our bracelet, power bracelet, so we can fly. So now, as you can see, this would be very awkward to get round uh, with the hook shot, and you can't. So with the bird, you can fly over all these gaps that would, would have been in your way, and round this rather long gap that there's no other way you would have been able to get round at all. Throw him away. You know what, no, let, let the rooster earn his keep. I'm going to make him fly over that little hole. And this will get us... The bird key. That is for the eagle's tower, the next dungeon on our trek. Is this wall bombable? It is not. Now, if you fall down... Am I right, I think? Yeah, if you fall down with these cells, it'll pop you out here. And, uh, well, next time we'll carry on towards eagle's tower. So this has been Cole Sled. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side.